Are you looking for the best 3D printers for PETG? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. XYZ Printing Da Vinci Jr. 1.0A Pro 3D Printer The XYZ Da Vinci Jr. 1.0A Pro is a great PTG printer for anyone seeking an enclosed printer with a professional and firm build. The setup process is simple and only requires the attachment of the hot end. For PETG printing, we used the hardened steel one. Straight from the box, the printer uses a 9-point calibration system for easy setup. However, we recommend adjusting the bed manually. We also noticed an improvement in filament loading speeds, but just adequate enough for beginners and occasional printers. We recommend upgrading to the hardened steel nozzle to get exotic prints and maximize the 6.9 inch by 6.9 inch by 6.9 inch print volume. With the upgradable laser engraving, you'll have yourself a great machine for engraving your designs onto paper, cardboard, leather, plastic, and other natural materials. However, before that, set up the software, which may take longer than expected due to XYZ's slow response. Fortunately, once set up, this 3D printer is easy to use. The auto calibration and the technical manual help you navigate the printing process. However, the instructions could use better detailing for beginners. The overall design is disordered and requires retightening. Cables could come loose, and it's unclear how to replace broken parts. The nozzle easily jams and requires cleaning from time to time. While this printer works well for simple prints and desktop solutions, it's better to upgrade to better builds such as the XYZ Da Vinci Mini that provide heated build plates. Also, the proprietary filament was of poor quality, which means further spending for initial prints. However, you can use any filament. At Number 2. Anycubic Viper. The freedom to design comes true with the Anacubic Viber, which comes with a 9.6x 9.6x 10.2 printing volume. Our test products were decent and sturdy but required polishing. General printing time was decent, given the Viper's speed, which goes up to 18 cm per second. We like the removable magnetic build platform because it's easy to pop off prints. It's also rust-proof and doesn't warp. For the price, this device offers great prints and is excellent for hobbyists and beginners looking for a sturdy device. Overall, the device was easy to assemble from the box. However, the instructions need more details. As such, beginners may have to rely on more research to complete the setup. Fortunately, the printer comes with a complete tool set, and the wrenches are great. Cable management is poor, and we added some zip ties to hold the cabling better. For printing, we found that auto-leveling makes it easy to get started with printing. You can also change the nozzle temperature while it's heating. Unfortunately, in comparison to the Creality Ender model, this machine is noisy. The drivers are not silent, and we would not recommend printing in rooms where you need silence. Also, the bed springs are also weak and need a replacement for better performance. The no-name SD card is also difficult to work with, and Cora profiles don't seem to work so you're forced to operate with buggy software. At Number 3. XYZ Printing Da Vinci Mini 3D Printer The XYZ Da Vinci Mini Printer is an excellent device for 3D hobbyists and educators looking for a reliable but lightweight and portable 3D printer. You can easily carry this 18 pounds printer to different rooms and connect it with your Wi-Fi to start printing. The user-friendly UI makes navigation easy, and after adjusting the settings, it only takes a minute for the nozzle to heat up. While this printer is smaller than standard 3D printers, it still offers a 5.9 feet by 5.9 feet by 5.9 feet build volume. We got accurate prints at fast speeds after several settings adjustments. We recommend printing at 0.1 mm to 0.4 mm layers for decent results. For a PETG printer below the $300 price point, the XYX Da Vinci Mini printer surprisingly has a dual extruder, which means you can print different filaments and produce multicolored objects. However, compared to the Flashforge 3D Printer Adventurer 3 Pro, the XYZ Da Vinci Mini printer is a child's gift or occasional printer's gift at best. 
The technical issues, poor customer support, and limited technical information can frustrate a busy printer. Also, the operation costs for this printer quickly add up. The spools have chips to recognize proprietary roles, which means purchasing filaments at a higher price. You can purchase a special chip from the company to unlock the spool, but this means further costs and steps for beginners. Also, this is a budget printer, and the quality of the print is average, which means extra polishing. At Number 4. Flashforge 3D Printer Adventurer 3 Pro. If you are a beginner or hobbyist looking for an enclosed printer, the Flashforge 3D Printer Adventurer 3 Pro is tailor-made for you. The level-free glass bed comes well leveled from the factory to ensure flatness and prevent warping. The printer has a nozzle bundle for 240 degrees Celsius and 260 degrees Celsius, with a detachable design to help you remove the extruder in a single nudge. The HD camera also allows you to monitor prints remotely and record printing videos for time-lapse videos. For approximately $400, you also have access to automatic filament loading from an enclosed spool. You can also print with the official FlashForge software by downloading the Flash Print Slicing software from the FlashForge website. However, the app doesn't work, which leaves the PC option. FlashForger also promises after-sales support for this printer. However, we found it difficult to access assistance. Beginners would therefore struggle to troubleshoot any problems. We also noticed the extruder bars were slightly crooked and needed adjusting. The extruder fan is also loud. Compared to the Dremel DG Lab, FlashForge Adventurer 3 Pro is a budget device. First, the printer has Wi-Fi and Ethernet support, but it's poor quality. We noticed issues connecting to the Wi-Fi and other devices wirelessly, which means remote printing and monitoring are challenging. Ultimately, printing from an SD card and using wired connections is easier. We also found that the bed requires manual leveling, which can be challenging with limited instructions and support. At Number 5. Voxelab Aquila X2 Upgraded 3D Printer. The Voxelab Aquila X2 Upgraded is one of the best printers we reviewed. The package arrived secure and neatly labeled to prevent damage and help you understand the printer. The printer has an open, stable build and is easy to assemble and carry around at the handle. It also has a colorful smart screen and a knob to help you adjust the settings. With a carborundum glass platform, hotbed, and automatic filament sensor, this 3D printer is easily the best value for your money. The high standard V-Guide rail allows stable head movement, and the four wheels under the hotbed allow bed adjustment. There's a resume print function to pick up after power failure and a motherboard equipped with silent drivers for lower noise. You can print via USB and use the included test print files to get the results you desire. We recommend this 3D PET printer for beginners and hobbyists looking to print PTG without a large investment. Compared to the official Creality Ender 3V2 3D printer, the Voxelab Aquila X2 is of a slightly lower quality build. Also, the technical documentation lacks details and could use an upgrade. The construction can be confusing for beginners, and the technical documentation does not go through SD mounting and Cura software installation. The after-sales support is also inadequate, which means users without prior 3D printing have to dive into online resources and find communities to resolve problems. However, the printer comes with all the tools required to set up and maintain it.